how Panama hats are made, a Quinkin tradition. How we go from the very special and unique Takiya straw to the finished, fine Panama hat. This Takiya straw is found only in Ecuador, in the foothills of the Andes Mountains, where the trade winds of the Pacific Ocean mixed with the downforce winds of the Andes Mountains create the ideal growing conditions. The straw is warehoused after it has been peeled, opened, cooked, and dried. Here you see the countryside of, the, of Cuenca, a city of half a million people, an elevation of nearly 9,000 feet. Here we are in the town of San Martín de Buccio. The weaver is buying and inspecting the straw. Then the weaving begins. Some hats take only a day. Other hats of higher quality may take two weeks. The quink advantage is that nearly 12 hours of daylight are available, whereas at lower altitudes, the heat of the day makes it impossible to weave but maybe five or six hours. This is the head of the local weavers association in San Martin de Buccio. In our factory in Cuenca are approximately 100,000 hat bodies. Here the manufacturing processes began as each hat is washed one by one. The hat is then bleached. The hat or the straw may be dyed for color. This is where the process of the black Panama hat begins. The hats are then all dried individually, sun dried. The ironing of the hat gives it stiffness. The pounding of the hat gives it softness and suppleness. Here you see the very first blocking of the hat. This is the most important process in finishing a Panama hat properly. This is done three or four times. It has to be done with hydraulic equipment and it provides the form and shape of the final hat. Here the trimming is done prior to the sewing of the edge. This is the lacquering process for the stiffness of the hat. And here the outer band is prepared prior to being sewn off. This is the showroom of our factory, the largest Panama hat factory in all the world. Thank you for this tour of Panama hats.